A small displacement motorcycle has countless benefits – affordable price, small fuel consumption, and lightweight that ensures the ease of operation. What these bikes often lack, however, is the decent looks. Luckily, this is not the case for today's lineup. We'll be showing you all new retro-styled models that arrive for the riding season of 2022 and do their best to stay away from boring. Beautiful round headlights, classic seats and bodywork combined with efficient engines and modern electronics. This is what these motorcycles are all about. So subscribe to Automotive Territory and let's explore the new generation of Mini Classics. Enjoy the ride! Yamaha XSR125 Legacy Edition The company's entry-level retro bike gets a refreshed iteration for the 2022 model here. The Legacy Edition receives noticeable exterior add-ons to distance itself from the base XSR125. First of all, there is a new gloss black paint job, which is complemented by subtle gold and silver pinstripes across the tank. Furthermore, the bike boasts special lightweight spoked wheels with gold trims, and keen fans will also notice new dual-purpose Metzler Crew rubber and redesigned two-piece muffler with a brushed aluminum finish. The beginner-friendly XSR125 retains its usual powertrain. Propelling the Legacy Edition is a familiar 125cc single-cylinder liquid-cooled engine that makes around 15 horsepower and delivers a peak torque of 8.5 pound-feet. For the asking price, you also get 37mm upside-down front forks, hydraulic single-disc brakes, LED lights, and full LCD instrumentation. Royal Enfield's Scram 411 The fan-favorite adventure platform of the Himalayan yields a dual-sport model with scrambler styling. It would market itself to the younger riders with more on-the-road riding ambitions, and desires for a tamer riding experience and a more stylish design. The Scram 411 has a stripped-down design, blackout treatment, and mismatched wire wheels with dual-purpose tires. This Royal Enfield serves up a 411cc air-cooled single-cylinder that redlines at 6500rpm with 243 horsepower output and makes close to 24 pound-feet of twist. The basic package for the engine is electronic ignition and fuel injection, and it is connected with a 5-speed constant mesh transmission with wet multi-plates. The Scrum 411 has a very relaxed riding position of a standard bike with 31.3 inches seat height and a tall suspension. 41mm conventional non-adjustable forks with 7.48 inches stroke up front and a mono shock in the rear with 7 inches of travel. Honda DEX 125 Also known as the Honda ST and Trail 70, Honda's mini-bike icon is being revived for 2023 after its 40-plus years hiatus in Europe. The new DAX retains the predecessor's distinctive T-shaped monocoque frame, tiny fuel tank, and small wheels. Such trademark features as a fat dual seat, an upswept exhaust pipe, high mini-ape handlebars, and a black retro stripe on the frame are also retained. The Sunda is powered by a 124cc air-cooled single-cylinder that produces 9.3 horsepower and 8 pound-feet of torque, and it is mated to a 4-speed semi-automatic transmission. Honda claims that even with a passenger, the new DAX can reach 55 miles per hour top speed. In every other aspect, this retro-inspired mini-bike is a modern machine equipped with standard full LED lighting, high-quality suspension at the front and rear, and IMU-based anti-lock braking and a circular negative LCD instrument display. Uskvarna Svart Pillen 125 The latest member of Uskvarna's street motorcycle lineup targets the younger generation of urban explorers. The Swart Pillen 125 sources a redesigned trellis frame from the KTM 390 Duke and features an adjustable open cartridge fork and an offset rear monoshock by WP. 
Stylistically, the bike adopts a rugged Spartan look, which exposes the larger part of the powder-coated steel frame. There are also bronze-colored engine covers and several end dice details, while the lighting system is all LED. 17-inch spoked wheels add to the old-school vibe and wear high-end Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR tires. At the heart of the Svart Pillin lies a 15 horsepower 125cc single cylinder with Euro 5 compliance, nimble power delivery, and low fuel consumption. The stopping power is provided by perforated steel disc brakes with premium by Bra calipers and a two channel ABS from Bosch. Black Tea Bonfire Launched as an Indiegogo campaign in 2020, the German Black Tea Moped startup got crowdfunded for over 600,000 euros. This allowed the company to bring to the market their first model, named Bonfire. Today it offers updated front-end styling, new tires, and three performance modifications, S, E, and X. All of them emit 1970s vibe with a round LED headlight, white handlebar, and a flat leather seat available in three colors. The Bonfire bikes rely on a full suspension system, yet combined braking and ride on 18-inch rims that can wear either street or dual-sport tires. Instead of an IC engine, all three are powered by a rear-hub electric motor rated for 4, 5 or 8 horses of continuous power. In the S and E models, it is paired with a single removable battery with 34 miles, while for the X flagship, a dual battery system is in place. In turn, it brings the riding range to 68 miles. Fantic Caballero Fantics have been made in Italy since 1968, but their modern success story dates back to 2016 when the company made a comeback to the US and has since increased its dealer network to 1,000 locations across 50 countries. The latest treat for the riders who value tricolor heritage is the Caballero 125 in four variants – Scrambler, Flat Track, Rally and Deluxe. All of them come heavy on the innovations, like the new engine that complies with Euro 5 emission standards and features an improved cooling system. The single-cylinder Minerali was recently bought from Yamaha and is equipped with electronic injection and variable valve actuation. Its new cylinder head and slipper clutch also reduce fuel consumption and yield higher outputs of 15 HP and 8 pound-feet. The newcomers get new domino controls, revised saddles, new side tables and colors. Finally, the 70s styling is reinforced with a round LED headlight and CNC machined foot pack bounds. Vogue Trofeo 300 AC Based in Lombardy, Vogue is a sub-brand of the Chinese Lonsen Motorcycle Group responsible for selling their bikes in Italy. According to the company's website, the Trofeo 300 AC is their advanced classic model that marries vintage styling to modern tech. The bike sits on a high-strength tubular steel frame fitted with an upside-down front fork, preload adjustable single shock and disc brakes on both wheels. These are equipped with dual-channel ABS. The bike has a classic circular headlight, suede seat and two color schemes – carbon black or army green. Propulsion comes from a Euro 5 compliant 4-stroke single with 292cc displacement and 26 horsepower. The mill is paired to a manual 6-speed gearbox. Finally, instead of analog gauges, the instrumentation comes in the form of a small monochromatic display. As always, we encourage all of the fans of retro designs to reveal themselves by smashing the like button. Let the world know that the classics are the best. Thanks for the feedback and we keep rolling. TVS Ronin TVS Motor Company is an Indian multinational motorcycle manufacturer that has operated for nearly half a century and currently exports its bikes to over 60 countries. The Ronin is the very first neo-retro roadster of the brand, 
and it signals their entry into the segment of premium lifestyle motorcycles. The newcomer has 1980s styling, single-piece flat seat and blacked-out 17-inch 9-spoke alloy wheels wearing new Remora black pattern dual-purpose tires. The effortless riding experience is ensured by the oil-cooled 225.9cc single-cylinder four-stroke and a five-speed transmission with a gear shift assist. The motorcycle has gold-finished Showa upside-down front fork and a gas-charged Motoshock rear suspension with a floating piston. The TVS Ronin is also one of the first bikes of the brand to feature a dual-channel ABS, voice assistance and enhanced connectivity. Blue Rock Tracker 125 Previously known as Bullet Motorcycles, in 2022 this Belgium company was rebranded after its most famous model. Despite the name change, Blue Rock continues exporting affordable and stylish motorbikes from Asia to Europe and selling them under its own brand. The latest addition to the range is a Burley Tracker 125, inspired by the flat track bikes. With its round headlight, spoked wheels, long seat and a high-mounted exhaust, the model has sharp, aggressive looks, but under the skin hides a beginner-friendly drivetrain. The 125cc single is good for 15 horsepower, equipped with liquid cooling, and is paired with a 6-speed gearbox instead of a 5-speed typically used by the bikes in this segment. The Trekker also benefits from an upside-down front fork suspension, hydraulic monoshock in the rear, and competent single-disc brakes with CBS. Mott GTSR 125 and 250 Created by the well-known UK custom builder Benny Thomas and his customer-turned-friend Will Rigg, the Birmingham Mott Motorcycles has already become a prominent player in the small displacement retro niche. Their latest model is advertised as the highest spec bike in the Mott's lineup. It brings to the table fresh looks, a big-capacity fuel tank and the brand's latest tech. Offered in two displacements, 125 and 250, the GTSR is motivated by a four-stroke single that peaks at 12 and 21 horses respectively. The model also gets the company's first LED headlight and flex LED mini indicators in the rear. It features many CNC machined components and rides on 18-inch black aluminum wheels wrapped into extra-wide road tires. Another interesting detail of the GTSR is its left-hand megaphone-style exhaust with a matte black finish. How do you like our selection of new retro minis? Will you be buying one of these machines for their looks and economical nature? I want to hear you out in the comment section below, so jump in! Before you go, subscribe to Automotive Territory, ring the bell and smash the like button. We remind you that informative content is waiting for you beyond the links on the screen. Stand with Ukraine and may the torque be with you!